вооруженный мятеж в любом случае был бы подавлен. Организаторы мятежа, несмотря на утерю адекватности, не могли этого не понимать. Все они понимали, в том числе то, что пошли на преступные действия, на раскол и ослабление страны, которая сейчас противостоит колоссальной внешней угрозе. Признательно президенту Белоруссии Александру Григорьевичу Лукашенко за его усилия и вклад в мирное разрешение ситуации. Но повторю, именно патриотический настрой граждан, консолидация всего российского общества сыграли в эти дни решающую роль. Эта поддержка позволила нам вместе преодолеть сложные... The failed Wagner Group rebellion in Russia has shown the risk posed by the organizing machineries in African states that partner with them, the U.S. State Department said on Monday. The message we've delivered to these countries publicly and privately in the past is that every time Wagner enters a country, death and destruction ensures. The spokesperson told reporters of American diplomacy, Matthew Miller. Wagner is exploiting local people. We see them extracting local wealth, committing human rights abuses, he added. What happened over the weekend reinforces the concerns we have expressed about the instability the Wagner group brings with it when it enters conflict, Miller continued. The Russian paramilitary group is increasingly active in Africa, particularly in Mali, where the military junta employs these machineries and has sided diplomatically with Russia since the deterioration of its relations with France, a former colonial power. The UN in early May accused the Marian army and foreign fighters of executing at least 500 people in March 2022 during an anti-jihadist operation in moral Westerners, including the Americans, assure that these foreign fighters are members of Wagner. The head of Russian diplomacy, Sergei Lavrov, however, announced on Monday that Wagner's men would continue to operate in Mali and the Central African Republic as instructors. Wagner Group leader Vegensi Prigonzin led a brief armed mutiny between Friday night and Saturday night that rocked Russia. For 24 hours, Mr. Prigonzny forced our forces seized several military sites in the strategic site of Rostov, southwest, and traveled hundreds of kilometers towards Moscow before the leader. <laughs>